Hi everyone, I'm back with another video from the Season 28 PTR. This time I want to talk about the Raymond Monk. You might have seen it in the patch notes, they have buffed various generators and the combination strike passive mostly to make Raymond a little bit better and I went there to try it out. Now I hope no one had any illusions, obviously the set still sucks and I'm trying to give a bit of like a feedback and maybe like an idea of where this could go in the future maybe. I don't really expect this will make it in time for a season 28 launch but maybe in the future when they do another like you know more uh, effort rework for Raymond we might get something really really cool. So the setup I was doing here you can see it in action right now. I was using three different generators. I didn't go with four because I was scared I would just die all the time. In fact I was surprisingly tanky with this setup that I was running which had no epiphany and I also kind of kept up my Shenlongs without the Breath of the Heaven, which is usually included in the build as well. It was okay, but I also had pretty good gear here. I had lots of um, secondary resists, especially physical resists on my gear. I had overall pretty good Ancients, a bunch of extra vitality, a bunch of extra life per hit to kind of make this work. And on top of this, we have to remember that the Season 28 theme makes everyone a lot more tanky than usual. So if this was like a non-seasonal build at 2k Paragon, I don't think I'd had any chance to survive this, but it was kind of okay with the bus on Season 28. So it seems pretty obvious that with this Combination Strike rework, Blizzard wants us to include all of the generators, and that is actually a, an idea I brought forward a long time ago to the devs, and I'm quite happy to see that they implemented something like that, but it's not just complete yet. So you, don't, you can't really just like drop all of your skills in this setup, and have four generators on your bar and suddenly succeed. Like first of all, there's not really that much of a reason to use the different generators, so that's the problem number one. You use them for the buff, and aside from this you just left click with your uh, Crippling Wave usually as your main attack, and then every 10 seconds you press the other generators to get this combination strike buff. Which by the way has absolutely no indicator, so there's no buff icon or anything, so that is another problem. So number one, we need buff indicators. So right now every single generator gives you one stack of the buff and we need one indicator for each of them to know when we have to press them. So that would be quite nice. And I think there needs to be more of a reason to actually use the other generators for something. The only one that I kind of used here was uh, Way of the Hundred Fists Assimilation, which as a monk player you might know is a very powerful buff skill. They also improved it this time to give you a 10 seconds buff which goes pretty well with this combination strike passive. But outside of that, there's basically no reason to punch with any of the other generators besides your main attack. So I think that should be changed. And maybe there could be something cool like a, like a proc that activates sometimes. Let's say something like when you attack with one of your generators, one of your other generators next combo gets like a 500% damage bonus and you can use it in let's say the next five seconds. So while I'm punching with my crippling wave, I randomly stack up these combo punches and then I get like a bonus for Fist of Thunder and I get a bonus for Wave to 100 Fists and I occasionally get like this big, you know, pop up like a flashing UI icon or something and I'm going to press the other pin generator to do like a big combo and does like massive damage or so. And then you go back to left clicking. I think something like that could be really amazing for a Raymond Monk. It would kind of give this like, um, you know, like this punch, uh, you know, martial artist play style where you have different skills that are used in different circumstances and there's a bit of like a randomness, a bit of like uh, like fluidity in the build, so to say, so that it's not really so boring and you only click left click. There are a few other problems that the build has that are not really addressed with this rework so far. So obviously the toughness, because you have all these generators on your bar, you drop Epiphany, you drop potentially other uh, toughness buffs like Inner Sanctuary, and also the resources, they don't really like, yeah, permanently up. And for Shenlongs, you need to have full resources to do any kind of damage. And if you don't get Flying Dragon procs back to back, which by the way also doesn't have a UI indicator in 2023, we're simply lacking the damage sometimes when you don't get lucky with your procs because of the lack of Breath of Heaven. Now there is one item in the game that could actually solve both these issues with some tweaks, and that is the Band of Rue Chambers. So this is an item designed for a generator build, and as far as I know it has never really been used for anything, but it could be tweaked a little bit to be more useful. So right now this build 
doesn't use this ring because you need unity and then you have endless walk and you have ring of royal granger so that you can get dead diggers and the the favorite is solely lucky so you don't really have like a lot of room to change anything of your jewelry on the very high end let's say with 8k paragons or so people drop unity usually for convention of elements and that is about it but I think that maybe this band of root chambers could be redesigned to actually solve both this uh, resource issue with the um, inconsistent flying dragon procs, giving you not enough resources so that you get this 50% extra resource and have consistent full Shenlongs. And maybe there could be an effect added that makes it like a damage reduction or even damage buff or both like item choice for the Raymond Monk in particular. Something like when you attack with spirit generators, you stack up 2% damage reduction up to 30 times or something like that as an extra added effect. So this would allow us to replace unity and use band of root chambers to solve the toughness issue a little bit and also the resource issue. I also gotta say that when you're playing Raymond and you have this endless walk set up in your build, it doesn't really feel that great. I would really like to like move around or stutter step around a little bit, you know, dash around and not really lose all my damage doing so. So this is like supposed to be like a really fast moving, you know, martial artist kind of build, but you have endless walk that requires you to stand still as much as possible, which yeah, in my opinion, just doesn't really go well with the whole theme. I would also like to break up this endless walk requirement in some way. So one could be to give the set another amulet. For example, there's um, the Holy Beacon amulet in the game, which basically does nothing. And it could also be used to maybe add some extra spice to the set. So for example, as I mentioned, we drop all of our usual utility skills like um, Epiphany, like Inner Sanctuary, like Serenity, and these kind of things. But we could maybe add them as a proc to each of the di different generators. So imagine, for example, uh, every time you use a combo punch of Crippling Wave, you proc Cyclone Strike. It has a three seconds cooldown. So you can drop Cyclone Strike off your bar. And then every time you do Way of the Hundred Fists, you get um, Epiphany for um, six seconds. And then you can drop Epiphany from your bar. And every time you use Fist of Thunder, you get Breath of the Heaven, so that you get like this extra uh, spirit generation from your generators. And these kind of things. So there could be like these kind of procs that come back into your build from using those different generators so that every once in a while if you need like this or that effect in that moment you just press this generator and you could do like one combo punch and you get like this or that effect i think this would also spice up this whole build and make this whole like multi-generator setup actually work really well there could also be some other really cool effects involved for example right now uh, all of the generators have like this really minimal like AOE or a range it's like you basically don't hit anything that is not like exactly on top of you and this is a bit of an issue sometimes so I talked about those like empowered combos that do like you know 500% extra damage or make it a 1000% depending on how often it procs but uh, you know some sometimes it would be cool to get maybe this like Hammer of the Ancients shockwave effect so to say we have like this massive damage and massive AOE both at the same time so for example, every time you have these empowered combos, you know, the crippling wave radius is increased by 300%, for example, or daily reach goes three times as far and it just hits like the entire screen or something like that. I think that could also be really cool to give this like a bit more of like an oomph. Outside of that, Raymond obviously is still a really terrible build. So even with all the things you know, introduced that I just described, which will make it a more fun to play build in my opinion, it's still a really terrible set and it's not really going to be used for anything in its current state. And it still needs a lot of numbers, it needs a lot of toughness, it needs a lot of damage to get anywhere. But I think that um, if they ever make like something out of Raymond, it should be more active. At least some in some way I would like to use all of the generators for damage and not just one of them. And have the others as kind of like, you know, cosmetic uh, tools on the bar that I press every 10 seconds for the buff. So it would be nice to actually get something cool out of each of the different generators in terms of damage and in terms of utility as well. It would definitely make the Raymond playstyle a lot more active and require a lot more attention, but uh, I think it's going to be like a very unique setup that is completely different from anything else in the game. And it would be really nice to have, I imagine. Monk already has a variety of really cool builds, really strong builds, 
And then you could have something like this that is like truly unique in the game with multiple damaging skills that yeah, no, no one else actually uses. So that's what I have to share here for the Raymond Monk and the Generator reworks in Season 28. I hope that we're going to see a lot more updates to this and it could potentially become like a really cool, really insane build. And I would be very much looking forward to playing some Raymond with some tweaks that I mentioned. Let me know what you think about it. Maybe you have some other really cool ideas of what this could look like, what the desk could do. Maybe we're even going to see like a big update for it in Season 28 already. And otherwise, hope you enjoyed this one and see you guys next time.